29 boats so far. Uh, are you happy? Well, yeah, definitely. It's uh, actually generating a full new set of worries, uh, but there are sweet worries, so uh, it's easy to address them. Uh, we sailed in Norway the, one of the first boats. The first boat, I think, maybe, or second. Uh, it's it was actually a minus first boat, uh, because uh, what we do with every boat is we start with a prototype. Uh, maybe one of our, our, uh, our even vices is that we really like to make versatile boats. So we're not really happy about making a specialized boats that do just one thing. And therefore, we are, uh, the only way we could do that uh, is to start with a prototype which is built out of the production mode. Uh, so not from the production, but from the prototype tooling. And the one you were sailing was actually a boat which was built from a different tooling than the one we are looking at. So uh, can you say something about uh, what is different on this boat from the boat I was sailing? Uh, lots of little things, obviously. The deck layouts, we, we upgraded it like three times from what you get. Uh, simplified it, made it more practical. Uh, the engine compartment now actually houses all possible engines. I, I would actually dare to say, I, I don't think there is another system that actually can house all possible outboard engines from electric to 10 horsepower and 6 horsepower. So it's actually working now. The one you tried was just for big one for 10. Um, we made it 120 kilos lighter to the one you had, uh, even though we finished the interior now fully. Um, and uh, upgraded mast, uh, changed the scant links. Basically, all in all, it was, uh, it's a new boat. Uh, three of the boats uh, is coming to Norway, and I know that you want to go sailing in Norway as well. Um, can you tell a little bit about that? Well, actually, it all started when uh, Tor Hove uh, asked me to do a lecture for, uh, for your um, uh, circuit you have about safety. And uh, that's where I learned that about the racing circuits you have up there. I never he heard about it. And then when I saw the numbers, like 1,800 people registered on, on, or ranked and uh, a number of boats you're getting shorthanded. It's like, I mean, I, I was completely stunned. So uh, it's definitely sailing I want to do. I'd like to, the 27 actually was largely influenced by by things I've seen there because I started to believe that we could actually start a short-handed, sh short offshore, short-handed races even outside Norway, so let's say the rest part of Europe. And that's why we wanted to have, to have, have her trailable and offshore going, uh, which is something you cannot find otherwise. So then we are going to see you this summer in Norway? Uh, definitely. We are coming up with, uh, with our boats to join the boats you're going to have up there and try to start a one design. Um, as one design story which we will then work on for the following years. A uh, little bit about the boat again. Uh, this is a new concept uh, of boats. Uh, where do you think uh, the future goes in this kind of boats, this size and uh, with racing? Well, it is actually a proof of concept. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's actually following the, the saying that you put your money where your mouth is. Uh, so, uh, so what we are, I mean, we are coming from racing background and we are observing in the, in the sailing these days is that uh, there is a huge discrepancy between uh, ability that are offered through the racing boats, modern racing boats, and, uh, and the sensations you get through what is called racer cruisers these days. So it's a huge hole between these two type of boats. Um, and what we are addressing with this boat and trying to do, and I think as also one of the biggest challenges is to make a boat which has a all the sensations of a race boat. Uh, it has possibility to go offshore or inshore, but in, f in effect, in a nutshell, it's a, it's a cruiser. So uh, it offers all the cruising functionality. So it's a lot of things to put in a, in a small boat. And, uh, and obviously you need a lot of steps to go through before you get to something that actually looks rounded without any spikes sticking out. Um, but right now we are on a point where we stop making excuses. So basically it's what you see is what you get. And, if you don't like it, you just buy someone else. Um, but uh, yeah, we are quite happy with it. We, are, uh, we test it in inshore and offshore. And uh, offshore, she works really well. She's way easier to sell than my Mini Transat I used to have. And, and even inshore, she's uh, perfectly respectable in light wind, in, in heavy wind anyway. So um, now we're waiting for, uh, for first cruising experiences. So where is uh, your market? Where have you sold the boats? Uh, mostly Germany, Norway, uh, Switzerland, Switzerland, Austria uh, to start with and then we have a lot of interest from France where we have also most of the 18s. Um, but one goes to United States already and uh, I, I think it's a, fun, it's a boat that actually answers a lot of, uh, uh, it ticks a lot of boxes of a dream boat 
for for many people. So, luckily for us, uh, we we have their trust, and hopefully they will. When they get the boat, when they see it the first time, uh, they, their hopes will be will be met or the expectations. Okay, thank you very much, and we are looking very forward to see you in Norway. Yeah, same for me.